Hi everyone, it's Donna from Hollywood, California again, and we're doing another marbling session, and I'm so excited because I have here a newsprint, as you can see here, and this is 18 by 24 in size. It's 30 pound weight, and this 100 pound, 100 sheets here of newsprint, um, cost me about six dollars and change in um, at Blick. So I'm really excited. I tested a small little piece and it really came beautiful. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna try this with you guys. So I'm gonna take this piece out as you can see. Oh. Pull this out here. Okay. Oops. The beginning. Um, while I'm still doing trial and error with this, I'm uh, I'm just going to do smaller pieces. Um, but I will be doing larger pieces as we go along. And I found that my sheet pans that I put in my in my drawing rack. Let me show you the size of that. This is my sheet pan. And basically it will fit that newsprint. So I'm excited about that. And I know that I'll be able to do that. But for right now, I want to do smaller sizes until I get uh, until I get the hang of this. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to fold this into fours. So hopefully, we'll get four different um, four different prints on this. And I'm going to use this as wrapping paper. So this will be for so smaller size. Uh, like little jewelry boxes or uh, something to that effect and I honestly don't even think I need to uh, huh. I don't need to get a scissor out for that I can just cut that like that and I did spray two, a piece of this with alum uh, to see if I needed to do that. But when I did that test sheet, I did that without using the alum. Uh, so I am gonna do uh, one of the sheets with the alum just to see if there is a difference. Um, I don't think there's going to be. I think this is... Uh... I think just using this paper alone is good on its own. When I did spray it, here, I'm going to show you what happened when I sprayed it. Um, it did give uh, some dimples in there. So uh, that's when I sprayed the paper. And I am, this is the sheet that I, look how beautiful that came. I didn't, I didn't put that on, uh, I didn't video that because it was just, I was just sitting here and I said, oh, let me try that. And I, I love the way it came. So uh, without any further ado, I'm going to get with it here. And I figured, uh, I don't know, Halloween is coming up, so let's throw some Halloween colors in here. So let me uh, get on with it. Halloween we like to put some black in the background and what I did here was uh, this, uh, this gets a little clogged so we have a pin handy black 
And this is different from what you've seen me do previously. Previously, I've put the paint in very methodically, but this time I'm not gonna do that. So we have some black. I guess we could throw some orange in there now. squeezing here. I'm just pushing that out, pushing that paint out. And get a little white in. The white doesn't seem to clog as much. Some white. So, so that was green. So here's a darker green that I have. No, oh that green seems to work. No clogging in that. It's good to know. And uh, where's my orange? Here's my orange. Get some orange back in here. So I'm really enjoying this marbling. Actually, love doing the marbling. Guess I could put a little yellow. because Halloween and orange to me. Can't get that out of my head. And I guess I'll throw it. Drop it to a black. I'm gonna leave it at that. And so this is what I'm gonna pop that. I don't see any bubbles here. looks pretty cool. I'll wrap up a pretty little Halloween gift with that. Put 
that on the side to dry. it out one more time to be sure that that's all complete. Yeah. yeah, see that little bit of newspaper print? We'll take that last little piece, any little that's left in there. It'll pull that right up. Okay. So let's get on to the next, uh, we have some Halloween colors and orange and yellow and black. So, um, let's see. Let's uh, do some white in the background on this one. Halloween. Every once in a while, it's making me jump a little bit. That is. 
that's quite interesting. Look at that. as I did, um, water marbling, and wrapping paper. It's a good thing. I think so. I think we're into something here. This is Donna from Hollywood, California, signing off. Have a great week, everyone. Thank you for coming. Hope to see you again on Friday um, with uh, Friday with Friends. This is Donna from Hollywood, California, signing off with another great marbling day. See you soon. Please do subscribe if you're not subscribed and you like my content. Bye-bye now.